I'm not prepared. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. We're live on the internet. Asa and Susanna are patiently waiting in chat. Listen, I got the mommy I need help cat cry, okay? And I was running on time. Diana didn't answer my first phone call. I'm sorry. You have the incredible ability to call exactly <laughs> when I decide to go to the bathroom. Hey, I always specify a time and then I phone after that time. So if you're running a little bit late still doing stuff, it's okay. We still got chat. I should just learn to wait for the call and the, yeah, one of these days we'll get that, uh, get that streamlined. At 11.50, I called it like 11.54. Four extra minutes in case something went sideways. We'd be good. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> We're here. Life, people. We made it. I don't know what's going on. You know what's going on? I decided not to focus on my face. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was going on. It's 30 plus degrees with the humidity. Ugh. That's what's going on. It's yeah. only like all we get. Here. Yuck. Wait, what do we got? What do we got? It's twenty six. Feels like twenty seven. Oh, that's actually not bad. Sixty six. Nope. Fifty five percent humidity. Oh, that's sorry. Not bad. We feel like we feel like thirty. Twenty eight feels like thirty. That's fine. Like a two degree temperature humidity. hike in like that twenty six to thirty degree range. Like it's warm, but you're not like. Oh my god, I want to practice being a nudist. Like, you're warm, but you're not ready to just streak down the street. <laughs> you get into the low to mid-30s, and you're ready to streak. You don't care anymore. It just, it's just gross. You feel gross. Everybody else feels gross. It's just gross. Oh man, I was like, I, so I'm wearing shorts, and I'm sticking to my desk chair, and it's you know you know the car ride unpleasant <laughs> like stick into the seat thing like i might have to go get something to cover the seat so i stop sticking to it um i do only insofar as the context of oh that's where it went um everybody's always like oh you're wearing a dress my seats my car seats are leather to which i point out yes but my skirts go to my knees so do my dresses so at no point in any hot season do the back of my legs touch leather or plastic or even wood. There's always fabric between them and everything I touch. Back of my arms, however, get burnt every year. <laughs> they do be burnt from the leather because those leather gets... Also says if you stick to the chair, you'll be sitting still. Yep. Um, and hello also to Tracy and Jude who have joined us in chat. Uh, and yeah, said the sun has disappeared behind another building and temps dropped to 20, so... Oh, God. High. Trade you. Uh, we're doing that overnight, at least. Nope. Trade you. Technically, it's Canada's birthday today. It is. Happy birthday, Canada. No, it comes with a lot of complicated mess of hot messness. Hot of hot messness. <laughs> A mess of hot mess. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> it comes with a lot of hot mess of hot messness. Uh, so, you know, there's that. Yeah. But it's also the start of Tour de Fleece. So, you but know, it's the start of there's Tour an unambiguous celebration. Which is, a, which is a celebration I can wholeheartedly get behind. Because uh, it doesn't come with quite as much baggage. <laughs> so we're going to take that as our reason to do a live today. And we're going to talk about Tour de Fleece. And we're going to talk about the stuff we're going to work on. I... Listen. Quadruped. Oh, Nikki says so far... to go to her first Canada Day celebration today. Because she was born after the one in 2019 and then you know there was that whole we didn't go outside for two years well i mean technically we probably should have stayed indoors for longer than eight months but eh, you do what you can quadruped so far today i have fetched you out of a water lake off three surfaces you're not supposed to be on top of out of the laundry hamper that i've kicked i don't even know how many toys there are can you please lie down and have a nap like a regular middle-aged cat so we we'll live in your youth things, killing your mother. Uh, a cat is six. On a mitten cuff and finishing, finishing my gnome's bits. 
that sounds dirty. I mean, it's it not, does. but it That's sounds right dirty. That's right where my brain went to. I'm like, I didn't know that gnomes mm. had those bits, bits, but... I mean, they've got some bits. I think she means, like, nose. I assume so. That, that's the logical that, conclusion that, that, that here. The 14-year-old boy that lives in my brain went dirty. Because uh, that's how that works. <laughs> I should be plying while we chat and we talk about tour de fees and goals and things and stuff that goes on. I should be plying. Am I going to? <laughs> uh, no. No, no that's all right. No, I'm, I'm going to uh, well, let me talk about what I'm going to attempt to do while uh, we're here and I haven't ruined it yet. Okay. I'm going to stand up and get out of frame like the great YouTuber I am because the thing I want is on top of my printer up there. Because of course it's up there on top of the printer. That's I have just... some fiber that I started spinning years ago. I don't actually mm -hmm. remember how many years ago, uh, but this is um, Polworth from Cloud9 Fiberworks, and it's like purple and blue. Uh, I believe the colorway name was Prospero. Yeah, I got dice up here. I'm with you. Ooh, fancy. And I am spinning that oh my on my e-spinner that's... The electric eel wheel two, uh, which is like laser oh. cut and three D printed, pretty much. <laughs> like, there's not a lot going on, <laughs> which means it was very affordable, um, but also means the tensioning system is not the best. The, the Ooh, tension is not microphone. great, I will say. Um, but it's perfectly usable, and I'm going to attempt to. Attempt to read comments and spin a weird oh. different fiber at the same time, it's gonna go great. Oh, oh I got high hopes for this experiment. Should go lovely. Uh, also says, I did not catch the cycling today, went to my hairdresser and had planned to do shoe shopping, but the shopping did not happen. Oh, that's fair. Uh, oddly enough, I am not a sports on TV ever kind of human. I mean, I'm not a TV human. So this should not shock anything. So I don't watch the Tour de France. I'm aware I, of what it is. But, you know, I'm, I'm aware that it goes on. Space. But I... So just, I guess I'm gnomes on. need those bits to reproduce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how gnomes knows, reproduce. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe gnomes, maybe not. Mm. I don't know how a gnome reproduces. I've never asked. So, I just thought they were sort of like amoebas. Oof, and they're and they just like... Amoeba, they're self-replicating amoebas. Like, duplicate? <laughs> That's oh how that God. works, right? Uh, I mean, you could have gone a lot weirder with the science descriptions, so yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Self-replicating amoebas. Also known as gnomes. What was he doing? I was trying to think. Sports. So, nor do I strictly necessarily think that I'm going to spin every time the cyclists are cycling because i know like some people like some groups and stuff that you can join are very much when they're when they're cycling you're watching and you're spinning like you can you can get into this and like go whole hawk absolutely that is your cup of tea do it uh i am so casual and relaxed about my tour de fleece it's like if i've spun something <laughs> what are when i because I don't pick up my spinning very often. I enjoy it. I just don't pick it up very often. Now, I hope to practice my drafting. Does the sound come <laughs> that... at all? I've got my, my wheel turned yeah. on. Well, I can't hear anything other than you talking, okay. so. Perfect. Your electric wheel is very quiet. Also, the sound cancelling is pretty good. Yes, that helps. Uh, if there is an annoying noise, please let me know in the chat and I will turn it off and do something else. Well, yeah, hey, because it's like, I got my fan going, too, so. Lots of background noise. So, I'm hoping Diana can get the spinning done on her e-spinner that she wants to get done, so that her e-spinner can come here and I can practice my drafting. We'll see how that goes, because I have an Ashford traditional single treadle wheel. And I could, if I can sew on a Victorian sewing machine, like on a treadle sewing machine, I can definitely treadle. I treadle fine. I don't practice continuous drafting enough to be comfortable with it yet because I can't 
I can either focus on where it's going or what I'm doing. I cannot do both. So I need to get my drafting to the point where it's memory for me. So this section of the draft, the back end of the draft, is running all on its own. It's completely memorized. It's just it's just muscle memory so that I can focus on what's happening between here and the wheel. That's what I'm hoping the e spinner will help me do by taking the treadling out. Turns out I can sew with a treadle just fine, but I struggle with other things. So. And my draft or my drop spinning has been so far working towards a consistent art yarn. So I still uh, start and stop draft because I'm looking for those nubs and the thick thin sections. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that continuous thread with my drop spindle that I've been working on mostly. Simply because what I want is the funky art yarn. I like the funky art yarn. I enjoy the funky art yarn. And I would like to get to the point where I'm consistently inconsistent, which I very slowly plug away at. Okay. Does it stop me from buying fiber? No, I keep buying fiber. Why? I don't know. Fiber everywhere. Uh, Jude's working on... Ooh, that's getting way too twisty. Tension on this. My problem with this wheel is that it doesn't want to pull the yarn in, so you have to consciously let it go in. Otherwise, you get way over-twisted yarn. Which is different from my wheel in the background there. Um, she'll just grab it and run away with it. This one, you have to give the yarn to it. Like, here, yarn. Come here. I've got a present for you. All right. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, oh, Jude is working food. on Ooh. an elephant stuffy that starts with the legs. I have two that have been hanging out on a needle. We'll not tell you what the teen said they looked like. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh no, I um We've been warned. We've been warned. We've been warned. Um Oh Karen is in chat. Uh Jude's tour de fleece goal is ten minutes per day. That's a good tour de fleece goal. Look, I even in my Turkish drop spindle bag, which has my Turkish drop spindle that Sherry gave me, I have fake uh oh. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Uh, what is it? Fake. What's that super, super soft, very expensive thing? It's not silk. It's chenille? I don't know. The silk, merino, cashmere, I'm thinking. Of cashmere. Soft. Cashmere. It's fake. It's fake cashmere. Fake so really cashmere. It's, it's, it's an acrylic that feels like cashmere. Oh. That's pretty. I want to yeah. squish. Oh my god. So the first thing I did once I realized that this was entirely not real is I took it over to my mother. And I went, can you touch this? And she said, yes. Yes, I can. I said, oh, good. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm gonna try spinning it for something for mommy. Because these are definitely mommy colors. And uh, she can wear acrylics and plastics and polymines and cottons and linens. Uh, but if it once came from an animal, we have trouble. Not so good, yeah. Not so good. Uh, so, you know, but the fake stuff, totally don't try. These are definitely mom's colors. The green and stuff. What? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm going for art yarn. So, like, I keep collecting fiber. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know where my medieval drop spindle went. I don't know where my other drop spindle went. I got, like, two uh, drop spindles and a medieval drop spindle and a Turkish drop spindle. We need a live stream of Jocelyn walking around her house uh, or apartment looking find for stuff? stuff. It'll be like one of those I Spy games. You just, like put the phone on a tripod and just like set it up in a room. Okay, do you see the list of things? It is not uncommon for me to get into the general thread in the Patreon and go, if anybody spe si sees my broom, can you let me know? So I've misplaced it somewhere. 
it's just it's just my life it's just my life. so i don't know what i'm gonna work on i should be five i don't know i think he says if this was a live episode with a name we could call it procreating gnomes i might honestly Ooh. add that to the title after dang you should make a note so you remember to do that i like it i like it a lot no really where's my medieval dust symbol? i don't know why i'm looking can't see it don't you think? i i don't know i don't see it in the frame but there's you know a lot of apartment that's not in the frame strangely enough most of my apartment's not in frame <laughs> Um, talking about drafting, uh, Karen says, that's the part I hope to learn during t Tour de Fleece, only I'm also learning how to use a double treadle wheel. <laughs> that sounds like Ooh. it goes double, double treadle. Yeah, that's, so you've got an extra foot in there too. Uh, Sherry says you should just pre-draft everything and use your wheel. Then you can get used to the speed you need for the yarn you want and slowly add a little drafting at a time. Yes. Yes. Uh, that is what a reasonable human should do. I have never been able to convince Phaedra to not eat the fiber. Yarn is okay, but fiber is toy. Fiber is food. She licks fiber. So if I draft it, I have to be able to put it somewhere where the cat won't go. Cats go everywhere. And the moment you designate a non-cat space, the cat will discover that space. This is how cat brain works. Mm-hmm. Any of us who've interacted with cats for any length of time understands how this goes. She is six, so we are a full-on adult cat. And I lived in this apartment for two years. Today, I found her on top of the entryway. Um, I have a table in my entryway. It's actually it's uh, a wooden, oh, a nice wooden table with some drawers <laughs> in it that's supposed to sit behind a couch. So, like, you would have a couch divide your space up, and then you have the behind the couch. So you've got like a place to put your drinks, right? Mm-hmm. I use it in my entryway because it's a nice narrow long surface to put stuff on when you come into the apartment, which is handy because there's keys and sunglasses and canes and yeah. ugh, any number of words. I found her up there today knocking stuff off. <sighs> Two years you know, she's never been up as, there. As you do. As you do. Just finding new and exciting places. Oh, my sibling's cat. I have a story. Please tell. I love Gilbert so much. <laughs> So dang adorable. <laughs> um, oh, is it in recent? What's the story? Okay, so uh, they're nope, on but I found the more third fiber. floor. Ooh. They're on the third floor, oh. and um, they didn't have a screen on their window for a while. Um, but it hadn't been an issue. They were very careful to just keep it open, like, only a couple of inches so the cat couldn't get out, and it had been fine. He'd shown no interest in actually trying to, like, get out the window, so everything was fine. Except this one night, brain works. at, like, 11.30 <laughs> at night, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he decides, this is the moment. This is, the, this is my chance. Mm -hmm. I'm going yeah. for it. And he somehow gets out of this, like, barely open window. Mm -hmm. Is there also liquid? Apparently. And secretly, the secretly fake creatures that could talk and are witches familiars. Come along now. Catch up with your with your cat myths. myths. So, siblings freaking out because has my cat just fallen three stories? No, no. no. The cat did not fall three stories. Uh, the cat no. fell one story onto um, the next, the downstairs neighbor's balcony. Yeah. And he's totally fine. He's just chilling, mm -hmm. looking around, exploring the new space. Cat's Cat fine. doesn't care. Cat's good. <laughs> siblings freaking out. So humans sibling are and growing siblings gray hair. As we speak <laughs> this story, humans are growing gray hair. Yep, I'm with you. Yeah. So they like they run down three flights of stairs outside to check the, the the cat didn't fall. And no, cat's fine. Cat's up there. Like, okay, well, how do we get cat down? Because downstairs neighbors are not home, so they can't just knock on the door and be like, hey, can we collect our cat off your balcony? Cat? Yeah. A cat seems to have decided your balcony is a fun space to be. So it apparently involved a laundry basket, a lot of treats, and um, a bit of um, climbing and acrobatics and yanking the cat into the laundry basket. <laughs> the, the other... My partner was holding, and so there was just this big, 
hullabaloo at like yep. midnight yep. trying to get this cat. Um, yeah. Yeah, sounds about right. So um, they closed the window and called the building manager, and they have screens now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cat brain. Yeah, cat, cat brain. was totally fine. Cat was just yeah. cat could chill. Us. Cat got a bunch of treats and went to bed. Mm-hmm. 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 Remember the old house I lived in? Mm-hmm. I lived in the granny suite in the basement. Yeah. Remember when Phaedra was little? Like tiny fluffball little? Vaguely. Favorite place they favorite place for this black kitten to sleep was curled up behind the dryer under the vent that went out. Ugh. Cause it was warm. Yeah. 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 I panicked to know if I had a full on crying meltdown and the mysterious Mr. B, who does not like cats. <laughs> went back to is a cat. That dislikes other cats very strongly. Mm-hmm. Still has staring competitions with said quadruped. Got up and helped me look for her because that is how upset I was because I couldn't find her. <laughs> I've been there. The black. I think black cats uh-huh. know that they're black and they like to hide uh-huh. in the shadows. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, and curl up so you can't see them. Jerks. Yeah, like they turn into like Jerks. little loafs, little loaf shadows. And tuck their heads, and that's it. You can't see a darn thing. And I'm just like, our grumble pants. Now, to be fair, I wouldn't have been able to see a white cat underneath the vent behind the dryer. Because, you know, vision. Very crappy. But, uh, yeah, the black part is still funny. So, full bold panic attack. Or the time when she threw herself repetitively at the window because she wanted to get the squirrel that was stuck in the window well outside the window. <laughs> what was she going to do with the squirrel? I don't know. Make friends. I had 20 pound cat in my arms. Friends. 20 pound cat in my arms. And I called my sister who who's up, lived upstairs. I went, cool, you need to go to the window well out front right now. She's like, what is that sound your cat's making? I'm like, there's a squirrel in the window well. So my sister's out in the front of the house in her house coat. Because she's still in her pajamas. Climbing into the window well to get the squirrel out. <laughs> cat owners. <laughs> we did some really weird shit. <laughs> oh, cats. Cat brain. Cat brain. But birds will fly by the window, she could care less. She only gets annoyed when they start chirping in the morning and she's napping. And she'll get up, stand at the edge of the bed, and yell at them. <laughs> she's like, going to shut them up. The birds don't care. The birds don't care. Your human cares, because now you're standing on me to yell at the birds. And then you yell at me about the birds. What am I supposed to do about the birds? <laughs> there is nothing I can do about the birds. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what you're supposed to do about the birds? That is ridiculous. I could also legit be working on my fiber bats. Because I bought two. You've got a lot of spinning things you could be working on right now. Okay, I'm gonna pre draft this bit a little bit because this is. What do I want to do? I don't want to work on that. I have miscellaneous fiber that is just random fiber that I found. I'm going to keep going until this bag is full, and then I'm just going to make a mysterious fiber scheme. I think I'm going to try this Turkish drop spindle, because I don't know where my medieval drop spindle is or my other drop spindle is. Oh, I've got like three more over there. No, I need to sell those. I asked Dad to make me drop spindles, and he did. I've got three drop spindles over there. Um... Due to Welcome saying, I was life, lucky. Folks. I went to a yarn festival to look at wheels. A kind gentleman from a spinning guild taught me to spin, so when I got my wheel, I could already spin. He had the patience of a saint. Oh man, yeah, those people at fiber festivals that teach noobs how to spin. That's how I learned Saintly how to spin. patience. <laughs> Actually, out at the uh, Carberry Festival, what's it called? Uh, oh, I don't remember. It was in Brandon one year, and then pandemic, but I think we're back in Carberry this year. Or Sunset Carver. Uh, that's where I met the lady who refurbishes spinning wheels. Yeah. Um, mine's what's a, her name? Mine's a refurbish. See, now you ask difficult questions and I'm going to feel like a jerk because I don't remember. I, I love her and her I husband. Got, I got that's where we I got talk- my wheel too. Yeah. And she's lovely. Oh, and her husband's lovely. We talk lovely. to them all the time. All the, why yeah. can't I do, why can't I name? Why can't I name? Guys, I, I call everybody love for a reason. Okay, you know what? I might have a business card on my wheel. One second. 
Oh my god, if you have a business card, that'd be so amazing. I very... You know when you sit down as a child and you pinpoint aspects of your personality and the way you do things and you go, that's my mom or that's my dad. Um, uh, the name thing? That's my dad. <laughs> he also doesn't remember names very well. Just a problem when you're both people people because there's a lot of people whose names you don't remember and you feel bad. Not that the names are going to stick, but you feel bad about it. No, literally, we talk to them every Fiber Festival we see oh, them at. That was loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's driving me bonkers. I should know her name. Lori. Thing. I've got to remember that. Her name is Lori. Guys, if I ever if I ever look slightly confused, it's because in the moment I've forgotten my own name. We're just gonna go with it. Not, not just you. I forget mine. I forget Diana sometimes too when she becomes hey you. I pre-drafted this. Hey you. I pre-drafted this red stuff from. Uh, this is I think blood of my enemies. From Cloud Nine Fiberworks, I think that's a Cloud Nine Fiberworks tag in there. Uh yeah. So I could start spinning this because that's already pre-drafted. Back in there, and look at this handy little doodad. I have, I have a wraps gauge. This, this redrafted? Yes. I forgot all these nifty little tools that I bought um, in Edmonton, I think, from uh, Maple and Rose. Yes, you bought them from in Edmonton. I've also got this redrafted. One with the others. In the super sexy Ziploc bags, so everything stays contained. Because again, my cat licks fiber, or tries to eat the fiber. And then just imagine me dealing with the fiber on the other end of the cat, because it's not fun. It's just not fun for anybody. It's not an enjoyable experience. There's also like, you don't have tinsel if you have cats. You do it once and you learn your lesson. Okay. But I also have... I have so much fiber in here. But I don't... It's like a light fingering that I'm spinning right now. My I have are all light of fingering. this! twist angle oh my god i what i don't even no. know how to measure twist angle to be perfectly honest check out my bounty my booty oh it's pretty i like the bright green thing oh yes i've had that for a while what's my twist i got two angle? of them 20 i've been putting off this one because i want to do this one on my wheel because it's oh, two god. menace uh de Uruguay spinning fibers I don't know what twist angle even tells me. I don't know That's what twist so angle pretty. tells you. I I still have so much to learn. I have all the tools to measure the things, but I don't know what they mean. I watch the videos and, and get the words, but I don't have the tools, so I don't remember the words. Does that make sense? I need the tools. I think I'm at that stage. I got two of these on sale during the summer, summer the big summer blowout thing at the local yard store here in town. Ages ago. Oh, it smells like Christmas in here. Uh, Karen says, I've already learned not to treat my wheel like a bicycle. Faster isn't better. LOL. Faster is not better. Not necessarily. We've got oh, this Jen stuff. i in for a minute, but has to go to work. That's fair. Not everybody uh, ooh, Sherry's got a cat story. Merlin fell head first behind the couch trying to get a cat through the window and was too fat to ride himself. But he was so pissed off the outside cat that he was an upside down missing fly. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you watch them do things and you think, did you think that through? Because the answer is no. Definitely no. Definitely no. My favorite is when they miss a jump and it's only the top half of them. On whatever surface it was they were going for. <laughs> I love like... when they don't quite commit and they just sort of like face plant into the side of the thing that's not even that tall. Yeah, but does just... that a lot. <laughs> You're just like, dude, pick a direction and go. <laughs> the blanket is not because I'm cold. The blanket is because I'm tired of sticking to the chair. Got it. You're gonna make yourself a chair cover so you can wear shorts. I... Yes. Well, they're, I don't even, they're not even like really short shorts. They're like Doesn't the matter. longest shorts I've ever owned in my life. They're walking, they're, they're just... called walking shorts because old, old women own walking shorts. You're an old woman. 
<laughs> they're men's shorts, actually. Which is it's just a woman's walking short length, usually. Oh, there we go. I Better? am no longer sticking. It's okay. wonderful. But I could start a new thingy. I don't have to do the ones I think. I could just sit here and draft something new for fun. I could just hear people now in the chat debating on whether or not I should finish what I'm working on or start something new. Options. What options? What are you? I think he's a self-taught spinner. Ooh, this is my Russian mint. Cloud9 oh. Fiberworks. Listen, Daria That's from Cloud9 really Fiberworks does some gorgeous freaking fibers. I'm also kind of tragically upset that I wasn't able to do her Star Trek Club colorway she did last year. Oh. No, year before? Year before. I don't Year before. I'm going to say 21. 21, yeah. Because her and Dorian Blue, oh, to mm. die for. Just to die for. Gorgeous. Did I need two years of Star Trek? No. Am I happy with the Star Trek I got? Yes. Do I still miss out on the Dorian Blue? That would be correct. I Look, nearly I have braids that are so old. Star Trek t-shirt that had been converted into a crop top yesterday. Okay. And then I thought that was dumb and I didn't need to buy that. But I thought really hard about it for a few minutes. Did you see the Instagram reel I sent to you the Star Wars helpline? Oh, I'm going to now. I remembered you sent me something and then I didn't look at it right away and then I forgot about it. <laughs> Guys, this is the love and care she has for me. Yep. She calls me her friend. What was it with, uh, oh, smooth jazz when calling the Death Star? Yep. It's like every helpline you never want to get stuck on. But it's delightfully funny. I have a lot of Daria fiber in here. I've got to start spinning some Daria fiber. Two of these. Planetary solutions. Oh dear. <laughs> But cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Start the Vader theme as jazzy hold music. Yep. I love it. <laughs> so good. So cute. I sent it to you because I thought you'd get it. Oh, I have two Russian mint. Oh, I definitely should do that on the wheel. I've got this one. This is a one-off. I got fiber down here. I don't even understand what's going on. You, I think I got you with the, oh, you know, I think we got this, the fiber frolic, which is now gathering threads oh, in October, November. I remember it because somebody gave me the flu. I was very uncool of them. Looks like my craft off is going to be uh, marling the blue sock yarn together. It's like the universal vote. Um, it looks like it's capris for me. Have you noticed all those votes are for the bottoms? <laughs> yeah, I did uh, have a bunch of comments po popping up. It just said capris, and I'm like, what? What is the context? What? Going <laughs> and then I realized it was your craft off post. Or do I start like one of these? Like, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. I know. You should maybe start that one. That's what I'm thinking. On my Turkish? Do we even have a Ziploc bag? No, I don't. Where are my Ziploc bags? Over with my sewing patterns. <gasps> Why is that a project when you can start one? <laughs> Nothing since procrastination like starting something new. I love, I love how a lot Karen of says, get her done month is over. Start something new. Well, I'm done. I'll buy that logic. I love how the wheels of fiber look like when it's rolled up in a wheel shape. Mm. I positively hate dealing with them, but I love how they look. Oh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Just Proverbs 31 yarn, aka genie, smiley face. <laughs> says hi ladies. Hi. Uh Alisa says hey. 
this is the last one I got. Like, again, looks freaking gorgeous all tucked up in a wheel like this. Yes. This is a sherry pink, by the way. Uh, which will look atrocious next to my face, but I want, wanted to spin this colorway on, like, four different freaking fiber bases. So it's pink lemonade. You know, so I'm sometimes gonna... it's... The yarn calls to you, and it ends up not being for you. You just want to make a thing with it. Or it'll sometimes go... Sometimes it's just not for you. In my hurricane glass jar with my other finished skein, drop spindle skeins, and just live there as a pretty art piece all in of itself. We'll find out. Again, love the look of it, love it on display, hate dealing with it. It's fine. All right, what are we doing? I am pulling out my camera because I need my camera to figure out what it is I'm starting. The content everyone tuned in for, Jocelyn using her accessibility devices. <laughs> Whoa! Starting chat again. Oh, Susanna found... Don't make weird sounds, electronic device, please. That's weird. Be crafty? I made weird sounds. Um, da -da -da. Uh, Susanna's the thing. I found more mistakes in my shawl. No wonder why I'm having problems. That oh sucks. yeah. Trust me, it'll feel glorious when it's when you're done. Oh, I had I have stories oh. about the shawlography for the, this month's craft off. Tomorrow, oh. I have stories. I was so excited. Um, guys, there's a new design dropping. Because I finally made it through my own freaking chart without making a mistake. The testers Your have been done for chart. ages. Done for ages. Everything's written. We've literally been waiting on me to stop having to redo this thinking chart because I make mistakes. Not the chart. And I, I know the chart has been looked at by many eyeballs at this point. We're good. But for the life of me, I cannot stop making half a crescent moon, shifting everything over two stitches and making half a crescent moon, which doesn't line <laughs> up. It doesn't look good uh yeah that's unfortunate i bound off this morning guys i'm literally weaving it ends it's acrylic taking pictures and i'm publishing the pattern because i'm just it was supposed to be published like a month and a half ago Grr. i sure get it the pink is beautiful i could have it <laughs> oh yes you could uh unfortunately uh it's at my house and i, I believe someone said in the yard and fiber swap that they didn't need any more stuff but they wanted to give stuff away ma'am I read those posts. I read those posts. <laughs> uh, Susanna says, luckily it's a fall shawl, so I can proceed with caution and lots of counting and reading the pattern. Oh, yeah. All right, so this braid currently draped over my neck is 86% superwash merino with 16% something. Stelina. Sparkly. Well, I am apparently in a very sparkly mood. Okay, I figured out the trick with this. Doing it's called creeping darkness. Back, backwards draft. Backwards draft seems to be the thing to do with this wheel because it doesn't. What in the world is a backwards draft? So, colorway is creeping darkness. Newbie spinner, but um, there's like forward drafting where you pinch and pull forward, and yep. you do like the inchworm thing, and then there's yes. backwards draft where you pinch and pull the fiber back or like pull the fiber supply back rather than pulling it forward out of the supply. You're pulling, you're pinching the twist and then pulling the fiber supply back Oh. and then letting the twist travel up. And so it goes backwards and then you bring it all in versus well, that's the, what I... when you forward draft, you can just kind of keep your hands forward and do like that the whole time. Oh, I've been instinctively backwards drafting the whole time. I know there was a specific name for it. it. Yeah. Well, and then there's long backwards draft. If you've got the right oh, kind of fiber, you can um, like great. just pull it way back and it like pretty much drafts and spins itself. Um, but your fiber has to want to do that. See, I both love and hate very artsy, fartsy labels and tags. Love them. 
They look so pretty. I hate them because I cannot read them. Which has got nothing to do with the very pretty logos. It has everything to do with my eyeballs. Please do not stop making really pretty things. Or take me seriously. It's not your fault. I can't see stuff. I think this was crafty that way. It's what I'm reading. From my very blown up logo. Definitely. Right. Is that the one that I got the that yeah. neon fiber braid from? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is in fact the case. Crafty that way. Because we also got the out. we got the soap from her, didn't we? Is she was the one that had that soap. Was she the lady that also had the soap? Soap. I don't remember. Somebody had soap. Who had soap? It's two days of constant yarn shopping. And we were like everywhere. I think she was the lady who also had the soap. We loved the fiber and we loved the soap. Okay, this is what I wanted to do. Yeah, quick. How do you? Way was the uh, I got the okay. the neon rainbow. Yeah, and I got the uh, darkness. Definitely not edible. Creeping darkness. That's what I got because I liked the stellina. Because apparently I'm on a sparkle kick. I've got stories for tomorrow's live coming out of everywhere. I'm just going to be a giant story for tomorrow's live. That's what I'm going to be. Oh, I should have had uh, real caffeine today. Long, stable slightly, slightly in the grease was the fiber I learned with and was taught long draw technique. It takes more patience than I have sometimes. That's fair. I've mostly been spinning, I mean, stuff like this, like merino, merino, nylon, stellina stuff. But I have, I have this one thing of Polworth and I have some Romney and now I have Kivyet. Yes. Uh, Which will sit so got, for like far too long. To okay, so what I should have done before we went live oh today. God, I still have that like pound of stuff dyed with copper. Yep. It sure does. I'm gonna have sure to make does. a sweater out of that, I think. I'm so excited. It sure does. Yeah. I'm making progress. I'm so excited. Progress is happening. Aha! I'm also really excited that I can have this wheel, like... Honestly, about 10 work? inches away from the microphone. I don't understand how Turkish drop spindles work. I don't either. I, I haven't out? learned how to, to put use it mine together. yet. I figure I should finish some other things before I start yet another project. Meh. Stick the fake chenille in a pocket. That would go well. I've been doing so well with there. clearing out old whips. I, I figure I should carry on with that. Sure. <clears throat> now, it makes sense. This is my hook up here. But I would draft and spin it. And then I probably weave it up and down like a figure eight around the bottom pegs. It's like under one over two or something like that is the pattern that I've heard and it makes the really nice little ball I think I've watched a lot more spinning videos than I have done I've probably watched more hours of spinning videos than I have done hours of spinning uh, <laughs> so I sometimes sound like I know what I'm talking about even though I actually have zero experience to back it up I watch them they don't make any sense till I try to do them Over, under one, over two. Something like that. Yeah, should probably look it up. But it was it was something a it was like a two one pattern. Wait, let's be honest. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of this live redrafting my fiber, and then going to find a bag for it. Cause that's how this works. Uh, Jude says yes to under one over two. Under one over two. Oh, the wheel sounds nice, apparently. I'm glad. <laughs> I was worried it was going to be, like, a really annoying noise. Um, in which case, I can do something else. Because it's not like I don't have 
a cobra sweater to uh, re-knit in a hurry, which is actually going pretty well. I cut it Good. and unraveled it, and now I'm re-knitting it, and it, the gauge is definitely much better. <laughs> It's well, it's gonna need another good wash and block because the it's all wiggly, but it's gonna be yeah. better. A wash and a block is easy enough for mum to do. Well, she I knows can how. do that before they get here, or while they're here, or whatever. They're here for a whole week. That time is gonna go by faster than you think. Well, yeah, but ideally, you know, it's in the pile to get washed by the time they get here. Like the knitting's done, and it just needs washed. Yes, ideally, yes. Step one, uh, unbraid. Really enjoy spinning Polworth. I have some natural fibers like nettle and banana to play with. It's going to be interesting to learn to spin. I've heard of spinning banana. It's like silky. Apparently. Oh, I, okay, I need to have it. enough Let's going see. on right now. <laughs> you don't need to add additional fiber types in the human. Unless we're talking about something that has uh, no animal fiber content to it, uh, like the fake chenille. I'm going to have to ask Aaron because that's who I got it from. Uh, because that's something that my mother can have on her skin. Otherwise, it's the wool stuff is for me. So. Just keep going. Just keep going. My hands are getting a little bit sweaty, and the fiber is starting to stick just a little bit. We talked about how you draft your fiber, right? Yeah. Like, I think I remember you talked about that, and then we asked you how you were drafting your fiber, and then me and Jocelyn corrected you, the other Jocelyn. Look at that! Oh, the pretty floofs I want to... I want to smooth, and it's got sparkle. Oh, I want to touch it. It matches you my shirt. You saw this stuff. You were with me when I bought this. I know, but I want to touch it more. Oh, gosh. Lady. Some days this is as we're finally you. getting our first heat wave, so the usual first signal of summer is a month late. We went from, oh, it's a little cool in April, to the underside of the Hades man parts in May. We've had a hotter summer than usual since May. To the point where the weather people feel the need to mention it. When the weather people feel the need to mention it. <laughs> Been dealing with the heat for a while. We had a heat wave at like, I want to say the beginning of April. We had like this one week where it was full on summer, like high 20s. Uh, yep. Which in April was, like, glorious. Uh, and weird. Um, and then it got cold again for, well, cold, relatively speaking, to a week of summer. Um, yeah. I feel like summer just kind of kept poking its head out and going, eh, no, not yet. Uh, but it's finally here now. Like, I mean, not like eh, unsummer is cold around here, so I'm not like. It's not like Manitoba where it like might go back to like five above or something. It just went back to like fifteen instead of thirty, which was cold relatively speaking. One of these days, I am going to remember to ask Erin how she braids her fiber. Oh, it's like um, a crochet chain. Okay. We could do a crochet chain. I've never done a I crochet chain with that my was fingers. Nifty when I realized that. But it's if you can imagine doing like a single a slip stitch. Yeah, just like Which a is, crochet chain. Chained. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Diana. Which is totally doable. Okay. Does he know we're on the internet? Have fun. Bye. Bye. The internet says bye. bye. <laughs> he says bye to the internet. You know, I can hear him. <laughs> now he's just going out to do some stuff. He told sure. me yesterday what that was, and I don't remember what it was, but it involves going out for a walk for a while, so that's fine. Yeah. That's good. 
So, I'm a in bad boyfriend, partner, I don't remember what it was. In boyfriend dungeon. Is... I have to tell you about a new game uh, that I got because Steam Summer Sale. Um, but yeah, yes, I'm, I'm trying dungeon. to avoid that. Try to avoid the Steam Summer Sale. Uh, uh, I'll get into wait. trouble. I finally found the hammer. Woo! So I have two of the three new weapons because I think it's three new weapons. Or is it just two new weapons? I do not know. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, so I have the axe and I have the hammer, which are the two new ones. And oh my goodness, mm -hmm. that hammer, she is heavy. She is a very, very slow weapon. But oh, when she hits, it hurts a lot. <laughs> it hurts a lot. There you go. One half of the braid rebraided and set aside. Because, really, I don't need to pre-draft a whole hundred freaking gram braid. That's excessive. I, uh... What'd you buy? When, so, whenever the And why didn't you buy a copy around, for me? I tell you. <laughs> I mean, I might. Um, I had Doki Doki Ragnarok on my wish list for a while, which was the... Is it on sale? Yeah. Is the what? dating sim where you're a Viking and you go and date villages in Japanese dating sim style? Why? But Did you're a Viking. You not and you're raiding. Just... God. It's woman. The humor is. Mm. <laughs> I basically I go through my wish list and I buy anything that's like ten dollars or less. Um, Tell me these. When things. the night comes was like thirteen dollars and I bought that too. So I can okay, listen. That that's now. because. You've been watching me play when the night comes? I know. I want to date the pretty people. <laughs> but but the villages. Dating dating the villages is the village. hilarious. I need that game. Because when you do it right, it's like it's a, like a cartoony picture of a village. But yep. well, when it's like going really well, they get the like pink happy cheeks, like the like the chibi Japanese thing. But it's just a village; it doesn't have a face. <laughs> but it's got the little blushy cheeks. <laughs> oh, see, now I really need that game. Okay. It's amazing. Okay. okay. I mean, amazing is probably the wrong. The writing is mm. hurtful. Hurtful for your brain. <laughs> yes. It's it's great. Hurtful for the break. I get it. Oh, okay. So. The I don't goal remember is what we were talking about, but also said, spin, no, I think you had three. The cat as well. I don't I don't remember what we were talking about. I got too excited to tell you about the stupid game. Oh, and I got a bunch of puzzly games, because Steam has apparently started to make personalized bundles and it's learned that i like first person physics sim puzzles so that's dangerous uh oh so i got three new games for 25 dollars uh oh are any of those two player do i have more human fall flat in my future uh as, unsure as, as much fun as uh, it is to was, watch, pull me up by my head hot, which is super hot the one where um if you're not moving, time isn't moving. So you okay. can like dodge bullets and stuff. By staying stationary? Yeah. So like you if as long as you don't move, you can see somebody fire their gun and then just like edge around the bullet and like <laughs> dodge it matrix style. Oh jeez. Oh. That reminds me, I bought a thing. I bought a thing okay. yesterday no, two days ago. I bought a thing when I was in Toronto the other day and I should go get it. Okay. I'll be right I'm gonna back. just keep making chains out of this pre-draft that I'm working on. The goal for Tour de Fleece this month is to spin for 10 minutes a day. I think I made it like a third of the way last year and gave up. So we'll see if I can make it longer <laughs> this year. And I'm going to count spinning or plying, but I'm not going to count uh, the drafting or washing or thwacking or any of the other stuff. So just for me to get heavier into the practice more accustomed to it i want to get it to the point where it's like my yoga i get up i do it and i don't think about it it's just what i do this morning mm -hmm. i got up 
I got up early. I had half a bind off to go on the midnight breeze. I think I was so excited. I posted in Discord before I did anything else this morning. <laughs> and then I did my yoga, had breakfast, fed the cat. Like I did all of my normal day stuff. That look at this, so cute. Oh, there's a little bitty fiber braid. This will just keep it organized. So as I work through my quarters and stuff, that way I don't have so much just loose fiber everywhere. Because I got my half braid, my quarter braids. I got my last quarter here, which I can then finish pre-drafting and I can start. So I want to get to the point where my spinning is something that is a stacked habit. Remember, because we did the whole, what was that guy who said to stack your habits? The Atomic oh, Habits? The Atomic Habits guy. But, but yeah, yeah. His that stuff book. is freaking book. genius. Definitely, definitely so... worth a read. And okay. Matrix. Even better is, if you this implement is why I stuff. I had to go and... What are you putting on? Did you buy sunglasses. glasses? Matrix style sunglasses. Of course. Complete with like chains so I can like, ah, like <laughs> librarian style. I'm so happy. I'm very, very certain. I need to get contacts so I can, you know, properly wear, wear these because yeah, I can't yeah. see anything. I'm a purple keep... blob and uh, yeah. <laughs> we keep seeing that Parex uh, glasses company. Where you buy the frames and you can buy toppers. Yeah. Also tempting. So once I get my prescription updated, which I have to do this year, um, I'm going to get those. Because they have some toppers. Which means I can have regular people sunglasses. <laughs> which for a while wasn't a thing I should do because the extra light all around the peripheral was a problem for me. I am not registering anything outside my glasses frames anymore. Like, I'm not registering light sources at all. So I can actually just go back to regular people's sunglasses. I don't need the fully encased sunglasses anymore. Nice. But because they do well, the tinted lenses, I'm hoping I can find yellow tint and red, like, red tint, like pink tints and stuff, because different tints work to help create the third dimension for me or reduce glare. Like the yellow safety tint is amazing inside malls and like Walmarts and stuff because those spaces are too harshly bright. Like it's the wrong white because they use the yellow light. So if I neutralize the yellow with the yellow tips, mm. it's less headache inducing and it's a, and I'm able to make out shapes a bit better. Mm. So I'm hoping to be able to do that. Then I can also just flip my frames out. Though I'm absolutely going to be like, hey, so I need help. <laughs> I'm going to send you the picture of me that I'm using. Help me pick frames. Because <laughs> it's mm, it'll be very important to get the right frames. But I'm definitely moving away from the bifocals, which is going to induce headaches. Because I, I need that central space, my insta drunk zone is my best vision space right now. So I know I have to move away from the bifocals, which is unfortunate because the bifocal part is delightful and the not bifocal part is delightful. It means I need two freaking pairs of glasses. I need reading glasses, like computer glasses, uh, like and an regular glasses, like a really old person. So whatever, I'm just gonna commit, get two of those Parex frames, one that'll sit in front of the computer and probably never have toppers, and one that'll Absolutely, get toppers. It's a very long time to pre-draft. I'm still in draft. <laughs> oh, uh, Maritza's yarn and craft says hola. Hello. Hello. Sorry, ah. I'm falling behind on my chat reading. Well, we oh, know yeah. I'm not chat reading. But Nikki says, <laughs> uh, some, the summer steam sale might be uh, might be an issue." <laughs> Uh, Elise is asking, what are toppers? Oh, so the they have a, the base frames are magnetic. So the outside of the frame itself is got magnets in it. So you put on a topper, essentially a colored different frame. So you would buy, to match your base frames, you would buy the same shape, but then you could go from plain black and then you could have like copper glasses or you could put sunglasses on top of your glasses prescription or you could put, and you can change your eyewear without changing the shape because the shape you should buy your glasses to sh like the glasses shape should look good for your face 
but it would let me change it. So if I one day I want to have red frames, I can have red frames. The next day if I want purple frames, I can have purple frames. And all it is is I'm just attaching the new top piece <coughs> to it. So no glass. It's just the shape of the glasses. Shape of the frame glasses. I uh, have seen... Thing. Would that, thing. that wouldn't mess with the OrCam stuff at all, would it? No. Okay. No. I wasn't sure. No, no. The OrCam's good. It was something I worried about until I got my OrCam. My OrCam attaches to my glasses with a little tiny zip tie. Two little tiny zip ties that attach to my arm. The arm of my glasses. Back here. Because your OrCam should be sitting right near your ear. Okay. So just, Probably just not near the magnet part at all then. It's not because your magnet's up here. My org cam sits back here. Because you want right. the microphone right by your ear. <laughs> so when she talks, you can hear it. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I'm going to have more problems positioning the org cam with the ear, like the bone conducting headphones that I want to get. I'm going to have to be careful what style of bone conducting headphones I go with. I'm definitely going to want as a slim of a profile as possible to accommodate for the orca. Because then, remember, when I'm out in public, I need to get information, I need to get auditory information from the orca. If I'm on my own, like if I'm with a person, I can ditch a lot of the stuff and it just makes stuff just so much easier. On my own, I need the orca. I need Google Maps going at all times so I don't misplace myself because I can't locate buildings very well anymore. <laughs> And I haven't been able to see across the street in years. So the org cam helps me not get run over by a car. It's helpful. Reading ingredients lists. Super necessary because I don't like being sick. And food allergies are a real thing. The Google Maps helps me stay orientated. So I don't miss the building. Can't find the bloody doors anymore. It's a problem. But at least I can get to the building. I mean, to be fair, means... some buildings, like, hide their doors. I know, I know some, for, like, even when I was sighted, some built doors were difficult, but I can't spot undifficult doors, so it's it's interesting. <laughs> I don't know where the doors for the Save the Mall are, technically. I just remember where they are. It's not that I'm seeing them. I just kind of know where to go, and then I get close enough I can follow in behind somebody. It's not that I actually find the doors, guys. Big mall doors. <laughs> Holistic navigation. I mean, I do that uh, when I'm driving much. sometimes. I don't really know where I'm going, but this person seems to know, and they seem no. to be going in generally the right direction, so... Uh -huh. Go to Games Workshop, and the door's opened for me. I've not been able to find the Games Workshop door in a very long time. Uh, but that's okay. If the boys see me out front, they know I can't see the door, so they get the door for me. <laughs> or, you know, oh, Mark is kind enough, he'll open the door, and he'll he'll say hello so I can locate where the door is, so I can get into Games Workshop to play. It's the little things, guys. You should see me go downstairs. It's painful. Watching me going into people's basements when I'm visiting friends is going to be the most painful experience my friends have to deal with. Because I am toddler level slow. Like, I'm pretty sure sitting down and going down on my butt would be faster than how I get downstairs. It's fine. This is just, it's just the level we're at. So... And I have to keep my ears free for traffic sounds to locate uh, things like bicycles, people, miscellaneous, whatever, you name it, right? Mm -hmm. So I have to, up, at any point in time, I have to be able to sort, organize, and understand three different auditory pieces of information at any one given point in time to travel outside by myself. Is it any wonder I like traveling with people? Because then I just need to worry about one source of auditory information. One. Dump two of them out the window. It's great. It's great. Jude says, I have bad knees. Sometimes stairs are on the butt only. It's not quite that bad. Depends on the stairs, people. <laughs> if you ever come visit, I'm just, I'm sorry about the two extra stairs in the basement that you can't definitely can't see. Oh, yeah, that's fine. It's not the end of the world. I have to go into the gaping maw of the darkness accessible. in the D and D house. They don't mean for their house to be unaccessible. It's accessible for them. That's the important part. They live there. We just make do with the fact that if I'm going down the stairs, everybody better be ahead of me, or the ones who are behind me better be patient because they ain't going very fast. We're all gonna have to deal with it. 
much. So I, I super appreciate being able to travel with like Diana and Aaron or my brother-in-law <laughs> or the mysterious Mr. B. I hate traveling on my own these days. It is very difficult. Uh, and while the cane helps, it's a different piece of information. It's not auditory. Thank heavens. I don't, I don't, I can't. Three pieces of auditory information at the same time is my max. Like I can't take in any more information than that in one source boat. I can't, it's too much. It's, it's too much. Even for Princess. me. Too. Dang, my thread just broke and my wheel pulled it in and now I can't find the end on my poppin. I hate when that happens. Oh no. And it's like a toothy enough fiber that it just like gets itself right in there and it just like blends perfectly. Yep. Alright. I think I'm almost done poo drafting, which is good. So I uh... I'm taking this as a sign that my ten minutes are up and I can go knit now. <laughs> that seems like a Fair. good sign. Fair. I agree. God, this stuff feels so good. Oh, Superwash Merino, you're just so soft and fluffy. Are you as good to spin as toothier yarns? Nope. But you feel nice, so that's okay. Oh my goodness, what else have we got going on this month? We've got... Patreon signups for the advent calendar going on right now for Patreon members. Mm -hmm. do that. Oh, I guess I posted the original message for the advent calendar and then neglected to actually, you know, officially sign up. Oops. Well done. Did you sign up for the yarn? Uh, officially, not yet. Oh, good. I assume good. I'm signed up and I've just forgotten to put my. Got it. In. Cool. Uh, I look forward to giving the mysterious Mr. B a list of numbers. He is our, uh, he's the way I, I pair people up in the Patreon group, guys. So Patreon members can sign up for advent calendar swaps with other Patreon members. Um, and this year we've added in a yarn swap just for people who might not necessarily want to commit to an advent to swap. It's a big, it's a big commitment. It's boatloads of fun. And I know every year when it's all done, I say never again. And the next year I'm the first one to go, yeah, okay, let's do that again. Uh -huh. Sucker. Sucker for punishment. Uh, but Mr. B, the mysterious Mr. B, gets a list of numbers. And he pairs the numbers up for us. That's how you guys get partners. Because <laughs> I don't know who's what. He doesn't know where I am on the list. He doesn't know where you are on the list. He just knows we're a series of numbers. And I make sure we're not one and two. <laughs> Seems obvious. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh we've so got a giveaway. You closing tomorrow too i gotta remember to yeah. do the giveaway draw too before we go live tomorrow because we got that yarn yeah. to give away oh that's so much Good more call. i had forgotten about that just occurred to me right now while i was looking at the raisins don't ask me why raisins reminded me of it but there we are i gotta publish a pattern today i think i should publish today yeah i could take photos and publish today it's not like i'm gonna wear a shawl in plus 30 degree heat i got my beauty my mannequin can stand in for me, right? That'd be okay. Yeah, that'd be fine. That'd be fine. Your cat can stand in for you if you need. Um, I'm, I'm sure no, she'd well, uh, love that. Oh well, if I fold it up nicely and lay it on the couch, she will sleep on it? But there's no timeline as to when that will happen. That's a thing. I do want to get it published. Though I'm definitely at the point because I want to make my patterns as screen reader accessible as possible. I don't think I'm putting photos into my patterns anymore. Mm, okay. I'm going to run the screen reader program one more time on a pattern I purchased with, with photos on a, and one of my own patterns with no photos and see what it reads better. And if it reads the pattern with no photos better, I'm going to just start leaving the photos out so that I can mark the patterns as screen reader accessible. Hmm. Or you could just have a photo dump at the end of the pattern where there's nothing to screen read anyway. That's another option. I haven't thought about that. Because photos decidedly mess up screen reader programs. <laughs> photos, yeah. ads. Video, video ads. Video ads are the worst. Ugh. I hate video ads. Video ads are the worst. Definitely messes those up. All right. There we go. 
I have a sleeping well, cat. Trick for uh, finding your end when it breaks like that is uh, put some tape on in the direction that you were spinning and then peel it up in the opposite direction and it should grab your little end. Oh, yeah, like just some scotch tape, hey? Yeah. That would work really slick. Good call. That's a, that's a pro tip. That's a wonderful tip. It's the same with that flippin' Instagram reel where they were talking about the sewing machine and changing colors of thread. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. Been sewing for 20 years, plus 20 years. I gotta remember to tell my mother. She's gonna be offended if it works. Doing some decluttering? That's exciting. I need to do some decluttering. Oh, yes. It feels so good. I took a whole bunch of stuff out to the garbage today. It felt cathartic. felt cathartic. Right? I need to bundle together my books that I still have and put them up on Facebook Marketplace, I think, and sell them. I think it's time. I can't read them anymore. Cause I can't, I can't read them anymore. I'm not sure I can get rid of all of them, but I think it's time I get down to a shelf or two. The very sentimental ones? The very sentimental ones. Now, to be fair, when I moved here, guys, I purged four bookcases worth of books. Plus... That was a lot of books. 28 boxes of books and storage. I purged a lot of books when I moved out of the house. So I'm down to two bookcases-ish. I think it's time to get down to the real sentimental nitty-gritty and let the rest of it go. But I also need to talk to the mysterious Mr. B because... I'm going to sell some of my board games. Gasp. Don't tell your husband. He will not understand. I think he will understand. not understand. I can't play them on my own. And I don't really have gaming opportunities. Does that make sense? Hmm. So I need to, I need to curate my admittedly larger than most people's uh, board game collection. Not as large as either of the Ivy brothers. Either Mr. Diana or the Mysterious Mr. B. The Mysterious Mr. B has a mountain range. A mountain range. Yeah. But I have more board games than a fair number of people I know who also play board games. Side effect of working in a board game store is they tend to come home with you. Yeah. Two of the shelves of books I purge were literally role-playing game books. <laughs> Work in a gaming store, this stuff comes home with you. So, like, I want to keep the super sentimental games. I want to keep the ones I can pull out and play from memory, and I want to keep the ones that were gifted to me that I really like. I do want to let the other ones go. Like, let a fair number of them go. So I need to talk to him first to see if there's anything that he wants to have in his gamer hoard before I put them up for sale. Things to do, like my Warhammer bits. I gotta sell my Warhammer bits because I can't model anymore. Uh -huh. So if I buy models, I have I can only do it when there's people around who are willing to help put them together for me. So like, there's no point in me keeping bits to do modeling with. It's it's now out of my range of capacity. So I gotta deal with that too. And bits are great for people who build Warhammer models and like to uh, fiddle with stuff and make their own thing. Again, like they'll probably the, uh, end up like going home with Mr. B. <laughs> It'll probably end up going home with Mr. B for him and his brother to go through and to pick bits out of them so they can yeah. pick a specific bit that they want. So, like, I'm more than willing to add to the bit collection so that they can pull to keep crafting from because it is a type of crafting that they love. They love to do that. They love to do so. In fact, a big box of bugs and space marines showed up this week. Of course they did. I don't know why he thinks you're going to play with him if he keeps playing marines. Nobody in the right mind. Right? I know, supposed it's to be stupid magic bullets. I have complained about his stupid magic bullets. I refuse I refuse to play people who play marines. If you have to play marines, which are humans, they're humans in the science fiction world of the 40k universe. Humans is a relative term. They're the only representative of a humanoid species they've got. Closest to humans, yeah. Closest to humans as we get in the 40th millennia. You don't get a lot of them. They're very stacked. They've got very, very pretty stats. They're very difficult to kill. They should be. They're an elite force. You're not supposed to have a ton of them. They're supposed to be a challenge to get through. Your husband has to play 
the super shiny mega stacked human void ish creatures. You and I play horde armies. You and I play what are known as bottom to mid level tier horde armies. We are very easy to kill. There's just a lot of us. Like a mm -hmm. lot of us. He'll put down Unless five, we'll put down team, fifty. There's just not very many. There's not very many on either side. It's not a balanced game. It's not a balanced game because you don't have a chance. It's not a difficult, it's impossible. That's where I draw the line. The Marines are always an impossible fight for me, so I don't play against them. Doesn't matter what the dice do, it doesn't matter what the strategy is, an orc team doesn't win against, what, like, the movie Marines. It doesn't win against those types of builds, so I don't yeah, play. same with the bugs. I don't play. And if he wants to have but games with me, he can like you, you know downscale his army so that we have a fair shot. His brother doesn't even like playing against him, and his brother's just as strategic as he is. Because, None like, of us want to play his Marines. And you're like, you're playing some kind of game, and there's, there's that one kid that just like, oh, and there's this new rule that says I win all the yes. time. All and the it's time. Like, it's all it's time. like that, it's that, except it's officially it's in the rule book, so he's not cheating and making crap no. up. No, it's there. It's but, there. It's written in the books. I'm but just, it feels nope. that way, and it just, there's nope. no... No. I refuse. I just, I, no, no. If he wants to have Warhammer games, he can find a new army. He can find a new army. It's been long enough. Or find other Marines to go fight, shoot with. I don't want to do it anymore. Done. Done. Okay, I'm my nose, I'm going to sneeze. No. People, I'm done. And I will regularly play low tier armies and lose every single game of the league and be happy to do so. I'm currently playing the Men of the West. I have horses. I won one match, and that's only because I got really lucky at a dice roll. I was playing against dwarves, and I moved faster. <laughs> that's it. I would, literally only game I've won is because I ran away quicker. <laughs> Amazing. Jesus in chat. She says, "I got my right hand surgerized a couple days ago." Ooh, Yay! surgerized. Surgerized, good. but listen, you know, now it can be mend, mending. That's good. That's good. On the bend is way better than pre-surgerized when you're not on the bend and you're stuck in neutral because you can't do anything to get surgerized. going to have two good thumbs. Yeah, oh, two thumbs up. Beautiful. That's exciting news. Oh, so good. Oh, that's great. I'm supposed to be spinning. Watch how that doesn't happen. All right, catching up on chat because I've been... Uh, we got into an anti-marine rant. <laughs> I want that uh, flipping oh, game the stuff that is dealing with is the ex-roommate stuff, so... That's like the worst. It'll feel good to get it out. Just don't push yourself too hard. Do it a bit at a time and you will get done. And she says, I donated my books to the library four or five years ago. I had over 2,000 paperbacks and hardcovers. I do not have 2,000 books. I personally Ooh. have, well, realistically, probably one and a half bookcases to myself. That's good. Very reasonable amount these days. There, it's a little double stacked right now, and some of my fancier books are on display in the living room. But guys, if I could still read, half. if I could still read, I would have the book Instagram bookcases behind me, and we all know it. Oh yes, we all know it. But library I vibes. can't, so uh, I don't have library vibes. Unfortunately, I had to give those up. Just like, what was I doing? I'm gonna start. Spinning. Jude says, you're almost making me feel bad that I still have a Build-A-Beetle game from when the teen was a tiny human. Almost. No, don't. If you were a person who collects stuff like that, then that's your stuff that you collect. I'm not... Yeah. How does... I am not an overly sentimental human being. I, ne I never have been. It's... And I don't have a problem with people who are. I do keep stuff. I just don't keep as much as others. So it's... To varying degrees like i still have my baby book i still have a teddy bear made from my grandmother's my great grandmother's fur coat i have a photo picture frame of my granny um so like i've got i've got little bits and pieces uh actually up there beside my like i got my crochet doll from when i was 12. beside her sits one of the uh felted made dolls that my sister and i got i have both of them now uh that we got when we lived up north so, women in traditional um, 
outside outdoor garments with a little baby in the hood. It's so like I do I do have I have my teddy bear that I won when I was a Mary Kay seller when I sold Mary Kay products. I do keep stuff. I just don't keep not as much as stuff. I used to, and I and I like not keeping a lot of things. I like cycling through and and making sure that the curated collection of stuff that's mine is very specific and narrow. I need to do a closet purge. Probably. I forgot I owned this shirt. I love this shirt. And I forgot I owned it because it got shoved to the back of the drawer somehow. So I need to do a closet purge. Ooh, one of the fire alarms in the building has gone on. Oh. Somebody burnt something while cooking. Uh-oh. Do you need to evacuate? No, it's like that there's smoke in the kitchen. And ah, someone's trying to... Yeah. But I couldn't tell you if it's like the front half of the building or the back half of the building or floor above or floor below. My hearing's too good. But nobody else has got alarms going off, so I'm fine. It's It sounds like the kitchen one, which happens every once in a while because somebody burns something. Yeah. It happens. Not yeah. the other Happens to me occasionally. Yeah. My favorite is when it goes off and you know the person has a pet because the dog starts barking. <laughs> oh. That's helpful. I'm sure that adds... No stress whatsoever to an already stressful situation. Oh, <laughs> so it's just it's it's a thing. Will I have some things when my parents pass up? Yes, I I I will be getting some things when my parents pass up. I have, in fact, for the last four or five years, every time I've my mom walked past a teapot set that she has and looked at her and looked at the teapot set and gone, "That's mine." And my sister could have it over my cold dead fingers. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you're just holding it till you pass. It's like on loan. <laughs> to which my mom laughs and goes, yeah, yeah, yeah that's fine. <laughs> but I'm not I'm not a hugely sentimental creature. I I, I don't really I never really have been, so it's not a thing for me. So it's the same with people like, why don't you have tons of photos? I have on Google Home and its screensaver is my photo albums. I'm going blind to people. What do photos mean to me? <laughs> Not mm -hmm. much. They exist for other people, not really for me anymore. <laughs> I like taking them. I'm not very good at it. No, really, how do you use a trick or One under, two over. Obviously, start with the loop of the hook here, but I'd imagine spin. No, I imagine it's like straight down or would you? Probably. Mm. Yeah. Go down under one, over two, under one, over two. Sure. This fiber does not like to dress. That's probably why you've stopped using it. That, it definitely is. Um, but I'm also, I think, better than a couple years ago when I started this. So it's going better. Good. The tiniest pile of fiber. Alright, here we go. Monster's still sleeping. Good. Karen says we don't have smoke detectors in the kitchen precisely because they keep going off. Oh, uh, no. Um, a couple months ago, like all of this, in, within one week, all of the smoke detectors in this house needed new batteries. batteries? <laughs> but they let you know by going off. So really? almost every night <laughs> for a week, a couple months ago, we had to walk around figuring out what smoke detector needed new batteries this time. Okay. And it's such a piercing sound that it just echoes everywhere. So like somebody would have to stand upstairs, somebody would have to stand downstairs, and then we'd slowly get closer because it would just like beep like once every 30 seconds to a minute and we'd, we'd have to go and find it. Last batteries that need a changing were in the office, which is right up behind the computer. I have 12 foot high ceilings. You don't change the batteries by yourself. There are 12 foot high ceilings in this apartment building. You call the building guy. He oh, yeah. was out of town. I had to wait four hours Ooh. to get a battery switched. My brother in law said if he didn't show up by supper time, he would just show up and change the battery for me and bring his letter. <laughs> No, we can just, like, reach up and get ours. Oh, uh, classic. We have normal ceilings. No, I have old building high ceilings, which I love. 
It's not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but I love it, so. Uh, Jude it's says, fine. I tend to start with a leader on the Turkish. I just find it easier. Meh. I do that, I'll just get used to leaders if I'm used to not having leaders. Maybe that's the other thing that's giving me problems with the... Uh, Jen says, I started spinning my mystery bag from Aaron on my Ashford, and I just broke open the gold sparkly fiber from Cloud9 to spin on my Starling. Sparkly Ugh. gold. I want to spin sparkly fiber. Not that this fiber isn't lovely, but it's not sparkly. It's dark sparkly? moody colors, and it's not bright and sparkly. Uh, Sherry says there should be a leader in the bag that you loop around the bottom of the shaft under the arms, then twist it up the shaft, half hitch it around the top, and off you go. Okay, that makes sense. Then when you need to wind your single on the arms, you unwind it from the shaft, uh, wrap over two, under one on the arms, wrap the yarn up the shaft again, half hitch, and repeat. Sherry's had a lot of practice with their Turkish dress weapons. <laughs> I am getting the most inconsistent. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I wonder if I'll ply this or just leave it as a single. I've always plied everything because I wasn't sure that the singles would hold together. But this you really could... feels like it'll hold together. You could always... Uh... What's it? chain ply. I could, that's a that also ply. occurred to me. Isn't it? Yes. Well, chain ply ends up being a three ply. Um, I but mean, you I do it for the one sense. strand, don't you? Yes, yeah. It turns a one ply into a three ply. Crunch. Ooh, Susanna got a box of the Big Mr. Freezies. Do you remember those? I do. I imagine they probably have corn in them, hey? Absolutely. I remember how um, the... Wow, I can feel it now that I'm thinking about it, but how the edges of the plastic would, like, cut the corners of your mouth. I can feel You're it having... now that I'm thinking about it. And you'd end up with, like, the little summer scars from the freezies in the corner of your mouth. I did, anyway. Just, like, just on the inside, just, like, a tiny little bit. Mmm. <laughs> Jen says, I need to get some of those for my grandkids come over. Should I get freeze? I should probably get freezies for when the kids are here, hey? Ask. Uh, not all kids like freezies. It's true. A lot of them do. Not all of them do. It's true. Oh, Jude's off to go niece... walk, on, walk a hill. Catch you tomorrow. You betcha. My niece uh, didn't do freezy. She did rockets. Mm. The blue, white, pink, red ones. She And other ones she'd eat with her, her papa. I don't know. I eat a lot of things. I eat fudgicles. It's my fudgicles. What freezies I were like all right they were never like i don't think i ever requested a freezy but if i was offered one i'd take it my problem Fair. with all of the like popsicles and stuff is when you'd get down to the wooden stick i hate that feeling of like a wooden like a wood feeling in my mouth that's the reason okay. i could never play a woodwind instrument i just i hate the mouth feel of wood just get, it's not get your brain out of the gutter <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, sure. and when the and so the, you said the, it the, i know and i mean like tree bit of tree yep i know what you meant and yet it's funnier with what like, i thought I, so i couldn't i couldn't play a woodwind instrument i hate when the the um not the plastic cutlery but the disposable cutlery is like wood and i just 
the little wooden spoons you get with like the Dixie cup ice creams. Like I hate, I hate how that feels in my mouth. So popsicles and stuff like that were always, uh, they were great up until you got down to the bit that was still stuck to the wood. Oh, it's giving me blah. It's giving me ick blah. just thinking about that feeling. I hate it. It's blah, people. It's, blah. It is. Blah. Okay, I need to argue with this some more to get it to go. That's fine. I need to watch the videos. So until it's I get like freezies and those marshmallow ice cream cones. Hmm. I have to see. I will. I if they're into freezies or popsicles or whatever, I will definitely have some on hand. Yeah, it's a it's a call and talk with mom and dad to see what uh, summer yeah. treats they're that they've grown up with. Because you know, mom actually, and dad may have decided idea. that they weren't going to have the kids grow up with those. They were going to have the kids grow up with either different ice cream treats or no ice cream treats. Like it just depends on the parents, right? Yeah. Or the kids. I don't like think it or no not. ice cream is an option here. No, I'm sure there is some sort of ice cream, but what kind of ice cream? Yeah, well, we have so much good um go out and get it ice cream around here, like within a twenty minute walk that it's like we're not gonna it's buy fine. we're not gonna just have some. We're no. gonna go out going out to get ice cream will be the thing because there's a marble slab like fifteen minutes away. That's decent Dairy ice cream, Queen. Yeah. There's the fancy cookie place that also has fancy ice cream that you can then stick together into a uh, ice cream sandwich with their fancy cookies, and they'll like coat the sides and sprinkles and everything, and that's amazing. Okay. Um, or if you want the really fancy bougie ice cream, that's a half hour walk um, all the way uptown, but then you can get the fancy bougie ice cream, which is also really good and worth it. I like the vegan ice cream from the Marble Slap. Oh, there's also apparently a place that does ice cream instead of with waffle cones. They do it with croissants. Haven't been there yet, but it's over by Marble Slab, so we have to try that sometime. Well, I can't do waffle cones and I can't do croissants, so. Kiss boo. Uh, unless I'm making them at to home. I croissant because they're too much work, but. I don't bother to make them at home. Uh, waffle bowls are a lot of work. I never bother to make them. Waffles are a lot of work. I never bother to make them. I don't make waffles. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> that's too da, much work. Da, 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 da. the first time in a long time my mom ever found a waffle or pancake mix that I could have was gluten free. <laughs> Otherwise they had corn in it and I couldn't have it. <laughs> Uh, Nikki says, I was dro drop spinning on my Turkish drop spindle in the park today. It was great. Freezies are a Canadian thing, says Elisa. What? That's fair. Do Americans not know what freezies are? Or are they called something else? Karen agrees with me. The wooden spoons are gross. I'm not a huge fan. They don't give me bad mouthfeel, but I'm not a huge fan. Karen says, I used to drop my popsicles long before I got to the stick because I always ate it so slowly it melted on me. Also that. Lisa like, says, I like soft service ice cream. It took me a while to get used to the cone. Same. I definitely did not like the cone when I was a kid. I don't mind it now. I can't. I've always had to have it in a bowl. Can't have the cones either. Yeah. Just makes life complicated. Sure does. Super funny, uh, some friends from high school are coming, well, okay. One of my friends from high school lives in Toronto with his wife. He's lived in Toronto for, I don't even know how long at this point, probably close to 20 years. He's been there for a while. Uh, yeah, because he did high school with us, University of Brandon for his undergraduate, then he did his master's at the University of Toronto in computer science, I think. Yeah, I think his computer science. So... <clears throat> I met his wife the day they got married. Obviously, it was in Toronto. And I flew into Toronto for the wedding. I stayed there for a week. Great fun. Oh, best trip I took. I By myself, got on an airplane, flew to Toronto, stayed in Toronto for a week. Great fun. Drank at different pubs by myself. Went to the museum all by myself. By the way, that took me a day to do. The museum took the whole day. Oh, I'm The whole out. day. 
I could easily do a whole day in a museum. I could probably do multiple days in a museum. I could have done multiple days in that museum. That was fine. Did the wedding. Flew home. Great fun. Photos. Uh, it was it was good. And we're sort of what's left of the newspaper group from high school. You know, people from high school generally you you float away. You don't keep everybody you were friends with in high school. You're not supposed yeah. to. You're not supposed to. Who you are changes over time. So like that core group of friends is going to reflect more of who you've grown into, not where, not who you were as you were growing up. But at the core four of us have, have remained good friends over the years. They're two years older than me. So these boys are all over with me. Two of the three are married. They all have young kids. So we're trying to organize a dinner. Because I absolutely full stop said there was no way to settle last Tuesday. I was getting in a car to drive to the White Shell to go visit. They had to fly through Winnipeg. They're here in Winnipeg for a week. They can figure out a time for them to see me while they're in Winnipeg. Absolutely not. I'm not driving out to cabin life. I believe I have made my distaste of cabin life very well known at this point. Yes. Not happening. I'm not wasting the time. That's ridiculous. Okay, you do that. Uh -huh. Do a dinner. Okay, dinner makes sense. He's gluten free. I'm allergic to corn. <laughs> See where this is going. One of us is Italian. <laughs> and the, the fourth of us is on the spectrum. So we're an interesting group to eat. <laughs> That's got to cause so many problems. There's children. Okay. So, well, one, the one friend with the two oldest boys is like, okay. Probably going to leave the kids with grandma and grandpa. Because, really, children do not enjoy adult dinners. Adults are boring. Yes. Just admit it and move on, guys. We're boring. It's fine. I understand. I was like, I'm not offended in the slightest. I wouldn't want to do an adult dinner either. It's boring. It's boring. I, the only reason I like it is because I'm an adult. That's it. Totally understand. Super fair. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping my friend who's Italian is the same way. Him and his wife leave their child at home because adult dinners are boring for like kids it's so dull oh i remember so dull so I'm like oh god i hope that i hope that that, that thing okay so there's just that it's just the four of us plus two spouses that's six people it's not too bad i've met one wife twice i haven't met the other wife ever <laughs> And the fourth of us is on the spectrum has a spectacular ability to ask inappropriate questions in public. So on the spectrum, he doesn't realize that it's not appropriate. It just occurs to him that he doesn't know. So he asks. Yeah. And he's with people who just give him the answer. <laughs> totally get this that. Should be, this, should, this should be fun. This should be fun. Uh, yeah. So I suggested Stella's near me. I can get to it. I can get home. These are very key key things for me. I'm fully night blind and I don't see that well during the day. <laughs> Stella's does gluten free. Stella's does some corn free. Stella's does some, you know, dishes that should, should be palatable for everybody. None of us are going to have access to the full menu, either by preference or by allergy. And that's fine. We'll have options. Not a ton, but we'll have a few. So yeah, so hoping that works. So if it all works out, I'm going to be sitting down with friends that I haven't seen since before I got my cane. <laughs> That's going to be a whole other thing. And we're going to catch up. Well, we talk all the time, but our lives are very different. I do not have a significant other. I do not have small children. My lifestyle is very different from that. So I have different awake times, different sleep times, different to-do lists, because I'm, I'm having a different life. Nor am I a single man with a high-end university degree on the spectrum that's not where I am. That's not what I do. Mm -hmm. So it's always good fun to get together, but we live very distinctly different lives. So it should be really interesting. I'm very excited. I hope it works out. I hope everybody can go. This will be really good to see everybody. But I also know, without fail, I'm going to have the inappropriate blind person question asked at me because the one on the spectrum isn't going to realize it's rude. 
<laughs> oh, it's going to be a good time. You have to understand, he's the same friend that when I used to, when I went to the bars in Brandon, and he would go to the bars in Brandon, and we would go as a group to the bars in Brandon uh, once I turned 18, because again, these guys are older than me. He'd sit in the bar, and he would look at me, and he'd ask me if I knew why boys didn't want to date me while out of the bar, out loud. Loud enough to be heard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure, that feels great. Yeah. As I sat next to the Italian one who wore the sparkly shirt in a small town and didn't understand why girls wouldn't hit on him. In the early <laughs> 2000s. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. These are my friends. People, they're the few, few high school friends I have left that I actively seek out to hang out with there's a couple of others but let, there's less than there's less than 10 that i'm like yes i i will enjoy visiting with you i think this would be good fun oh my word it's gonna be a story i'm taking some roundy roundy knitting i'm gonna need to do something i'm going to need to do something because <laughs> one's left wing one's right wing both of them are politically active and we're being gluten free, we're gonna be stuck in the middle. Like we have been since high school. Folks, it's not like this is a new this is not a new shindig. This is what happens every time we get together. Mm. Every time. I feel like that's going to be that's gonna be a dessert day. I feel like I'm going to have dinner and a dessert. I feel like I've earned it and I haven't even made it there. Excited to go, which is just like I have to be a glutton for punishment. I just have to be a glutton for punishment, don't I? All right, I got tired of arguing with how to start. So I'm catching up on chat, and there's been a whole discussion about what freezies are. Apparently, Americans actually don't know what freezies are. That's fine. Um, but Karen said I saw an American post on Facebook, and they were talking about ice cream and gelato. And which was better and i was completely flabbergasted i thought they were the same thing in different languages nope they're not i know they're different but i don't know what is different about them because i think they're both ultimately frozen cream uh yes uh, but many desserts are ultimately frozen cream <laughs> if you think about it that way i like gelato. I, don't I don't know what the difference is i know there is one but they're effectively Still. the same thing. Uh, Sherry says we used to sharpen sister. our popsicle sticks on the sidewalk into shifts and have sword fights. That's, you know, fair. That's, uh, I used yeah, to, uh, that's a childhood. You know, I, I remember getting drinks and sandwiches and told to go play in the park and not come home until sun came down. Yeah, that didn't happen for me. And not okay, lose my I sister. I need to look up what otter pops are and see if that is. What are otter pops? No, by me. I'm literally using. Oh, yeah. Microphone. Those are freezies. Otter pops are a brand of freeze pops sold in the United States. Yeah. Otter pops. Same thing. Why not? I literally have fiber draped over top of my microphone. This will be fine. I need to watch some videos on how to uh, start the uh, Turkish drop window. So I think I understand the instructions, but because I don't know what it's supposed to look like, I'm also worried that I don't understand the instructions, you know? <laughs> so we've gone to working on my bats. What I got from Aaron of Fire Week. Oh. Uh, we've been on for one hour and 43 minutes. Ooh, we could probably wrap it up. It's been a good celebration. Talked about freezies and gnome procreation. <laughs> it's been a good time. I've had fun. And I actually got to some spinning and I did draft stuff. I promised Mr. Diana we were going to go for uh, a walk and get ice cream after. So I should probably take him for ice cream. Seems good. I mean, if you gave your word. You I did. Stick to oh, oh, tonight there's going to be, in lieu of fireworks, there's going to be a drone show. And I'm so excited. 
Yeah, they're doing the same thing around the forks. I mean, some places are doing fireworks, but the one that's closest to us that we can walk to, it's a drone show! I'm so excited. I'm Again, I have drones. Complications with the celebration of Canada Day. I, I like the glowy lights to, in the uh, sky. Fair. Uh, I think we need to do uh, a lot more educating of uh, the general oh, folks before definitely. we can before we can comfortably celebrate Canada Day. I'd like us to be able to comfortably celebrate Canada Day. Yeah, I think it's important. I also uh, really think the uh, lack of education for people not inside schooling systems is abysmal and needs to be corrected. So, lots to do. This, sorry, this is unrelated, but uh, gelato apparently is good for gluten-free people. I have no idea. Interesting. I tend to eat vegan ice cream these days, guys. It's the whole gelato dairy thing. usually has less fat than ice cream. Is gelato like milk ice cream versus cream ice cream? Is that it? Possibly. I don't actually know the difference. I know they taste different. I know they are different. And I know too much of either of them upsets my stomach. Fair. <laughs> Which is the important information for me to know. Uh, Nikki says, oh crap, fireworks. I gotta put blankets over Marvel's window tonight. We don't want seizures. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Serious problems uh, with luck. a lot of celebrations. I hope... I hope you have a nice, quiet, boring night in that regard. Oh, yeah. Oh, Karen says vegan ice cream for me, too. Yep. Really, it tastes good, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, I don't care as long as it's actually tasty. Yeah. I don't particularly care what the base is. Ooh, spinny. So I posted the, the lemon pie... That I tried with mom. So good. Did it upset my stomach? Absolutely. Did I care? No. And worth it? Yeah. Some sometimes it's worth it. But I do it all the time? No. No, I could not. Uh can I do it a little a little bit here and there? Yes, yes, I can. Uh Why has it taken me like three hours to drink this smoothie that I made for breakfast? Uh, because it's a smoothie? You're asking the wrong human. I just. I had turkey bacon and. What else did I have? Tofu scramble. Same thing as I had yesterday for breakfast. Turkey bacon and tofu scramble. And it was amazing. Because turkey bacon. Does my smoothie have kale? No, I did not put anything green in my smoothie. It's uh, <laughs> basically everything I put in my regular bowl of oatmeal. I just put it in a blender with extra water and made a smoothie. It's oats and flax and hemp-based protein powder. Maple syrup, because the protein powder is uh, completely unsweetened and absolutely unpalatable unless you put in a few tablespoons of maple syrup. And some cinnamon and a banana. Well, I should have one of those Ester C Boost packet thingies. Remember I said my dad won this food basket from Sobeys? Mm-hmm. One of the items that was corn-free that was really weird. Uh, is Estrus Energy Boost drink packets. Okay. Tastes like Tang. Ooh. And corn-free, so I could have it. I had the first one, and I was like, this is really strong. Like, it's strongly Tang-flavored, which, you know, good thing. But when I had the second one, I watered it down. Now it tastes like the Tang I used to get out of the Gatorade coolers when I worked, when I played sports in high school. Ah. Oh. Super nostalgic for me. So I'm happy to drink it. So that's the best reason for not drinking it if it has kale in it. Oh no! Okay, well, 
I've just broken my yarn three times in a row, and I think that means I'm done for right now. And we're But finished. I got quite a bit done. Good. I uh, have absolutely no way to show you progress, but trust me, I got quite a bit done. It, it <laughs> looks like a bit less than when I started. Well, it's not like we can clip stitch markers into it. <laughs> yeah, I know, because, like, you use that part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Elisa asks, uh, what sports did you play? Uh, I played in the summer, uh, spring season, I played soccer. Uh, in the winter, I curled, and I swam. Not competitively, because... I was no longer hydrodynamic as of 13, but I played soccer and I grilled. Mostly because I needed to be free to do the paper sheet for scorekeeping for volleyball and basketball. So if you're the sheet scorekeeper, you are God. Mm. Exciting. I did a well, the bit sheets of sometimes. Otherwise, the I did sheets not do were what? The sheets were what were handed in, so scores, assists, like all of the team stats, penalties. It was all on the sheet. If you if you did the sheet scorekeeping, you were you were god because that was what was handed in. So you had to be accurate sure. and paying attention. Um. No, I played sports. I wasn't serious about it either, but activity is good. And it was that or band. I wasn't interested in band. I just like, I played sports. Ah, oh, see, I did all the band. No band. Like all the band. But, I would have done a marching know. band if we had it. It was just concert band and jazz band. But you were one of those kids. I was. I was. The band science nerd, which worked out great because the band room and all the science classrooms were in the same wing. So I just stayed there a lot. Uh, I was into art and history. Honestly, not the same stuff I'm into now. I'm the kid who took history all the way through high school, even though you don't have to. Yeah, I definitely dropped that as soon as I didn't need to take it. Uh, it's one of those subjects that I argue, like, uh, um, skill-based classes that I think should be mandatory. I think you should have to take all four years of it. So I think it should take you four years of high school to learn enough about history to be able to function. what history you're doing. Because, like, I mean, if you're learning about ancient China, that's cool and all, but not particularly useful but if we were going to do more in-depth like canadian history um canadian history is the not... only history we're required to take <laughs> if we were going to do more canadian history that would probably be a good thing with less of the um leaving out of the bad uncomfy parts that i legitimately yeah. didn't know until i was out of school Ugh. Um, oh, Elisa did martial arts with dad, did a bit of theater, and farmer stuff with FFA, welding. Ooh, neat. My sister was in theater, so I stayed away. I was in a musical performance in high school. I played the policeman in Guys and Dolls. Because it was uh, a non-singing role. <laughs> Guess why? I, uh... I sang in choir when I lived up north. I sang in church choir, but... No, uh, my sister was in theater in high school, so I stayed in my theater. Uh, we both did fine arts, but there's two years between us. So the worst thing you could do as an older sibling is step all over your younger sibling's toes. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary. You can let them be them, and you can be you, and you can be different people in the same high school. Will you still get? Will I mean? Will you still get compared to one another? Yeah, my sister still probably got compared to me as she went through high school. Because until a certain point, you all take the same classes, but then they yeah. sort of split, and we had different different classes, so it wasn't that big of a thing. So we had different interests. So I wasn't allowed to take shop because my dad was a carpenter, so I was sort of cheating. I would have liked to have space in my schedule to do um, like home ec and shops and stuff, but it wasn't. Gonna but it's 
It's one of those class structures that I argue for. Consider them life skills. Sewing, cooking, and shop class. I feel I feel like it should be mandatory. But again, guys, I also happily sign petitions to make school year round. So oh, I'm not normal. But... <laughs> I'm not normal. Why? As an adult, you don't get two months off. It just sets a bad precedent. And technically, they still the get the first time since high school. High school, yeah, it's amazing. Honestly, it feels so good. It's not going to feel good in September. Uh... It'll feel a little less good, but like, man, we really should. The world should just like shut down for two months over the summer. Oh, but it's then not I guess happen. people need to run the stuff yeah. that we want to go to do. Yeah, oh, yeah all the things work. that you do, okay, everybody <laughs> somebody should has get, to be like, there. Two months off at some okay, point. Okay, but how do you how do you decide who gets what for two months off? Because then you've got to leave this class system kicking in. Big theoretical you can't do it. happy utopia. I know that, but I can wish can't and be impractical. It. I can have impractical wishes in my little fantasy world. It's true, you can. I dream of the day when everybody gets a base living wage. Yeah, that'd be nice. I feel like that would solve a lot of problems. And corporations and stuff that rent that uh, can't charge too much because they have to deal with the federal government of Canada. <laughs> and for all Lisa of says two months around your birthday. <laughs> I like that. Two months around your birthday. Around your birthday? So your birthday's poor, right in the middle. Poor kids who have birthdays at Christmas. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just kind of sucks. My mom's birthday is uh, early December, and she still gets the, the Christmas birthday. And it's not even that close to Christmas. Yeah, my best friend in high she school did was growing like... up anyway. She has lamented that on many an occasion. My, be my best friend in high school was four days before Christmas. Ah. Oh. Yeah. He never had the birthday Christmas presents. Never. Always been separate. Always been separate. It's not his fault. He'd get his birthday party, then we had Christmas shortly after. He still gets entirely separate get presents two from all of us. And all the cake, all the food in one week. Yeah, pretty much. Ooh, oh no, extra cake! Oh, that's a hardship. One year I delayed my birthday party because March birthday, there was always snow on the ground. And I'm like, no, I want a summer birthday party. So okay. I just didn't have my birthday party until like June. Okay. Weirdo. I wanted a summer birthday party. I like having my birthday in March. I hate that because it's like seven days before St. Patrick's Day. Everybody wants to know if I'm going to do St. Patty's Day themed party. No. I'm not Why? sharing my birthday with St. Patrick's Day. It's an entirely different day. A whole week away is a completely different, different thing. It's a wholly different thing. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh, Nikki was born on Labor Day, so sometimes I would be going to my first day of school on my birthday. No. <laughs> Happy birthday, go to school. Happy birthday, go to school. Well, it happens. Uh... Oh, we're good and we're caught up on Chad. We did some celebrating been on for just about two hours exactly perfect i'm going to go finish publishing a pattern i'm gonna go get ice cream excellent guys enjoy your saturday or sunday yes. depending on when you watch this don't forget to vote if you haven't voted for the craft off for tomorrow because that'll be noon on manitoba time here again live and if you haven't watched the episode, not last week, but the week before, go watch and comment on that because I will pull from the YouTube comments tomorrow morning when I get up. Yep. I definitely want to win the uh, the pretty, one of the pretty makeup yeah. cravings yarns. That's yeah. Pretty. Well, I, I will edit and the draw is closed once I get in there and I will draw a person and then I will comment. So I'm going to see if comments ahead of my future, in my future. <laughs> Woo! All right. It's looking like caprice for me. Okay. Maybe, I don't, who knows? Maybe like tonight into tomorrow, it'll be like nothing but tank top votes and tank tops will win. I don't think yeah, anybody's like voted for a tank world, top yet. 
I had to pick a small project this time because I I really wanted to put the dress as an option, but then I like thought about the practicality of trying to do a whole dress in a month when the kids are visiting. I'm like, that's not happening. Let's pick let's pick the halter top that I can do in about six hours. As it is, they don't they come not this week but next week, right? Uh, we'll da, 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 I want to say, yeah. Uh, Next week. Yeah. Yeah. Like not this one coming up, but the one after that on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Cause I, we're in the first week of spring. We're in the first week of spring. In Stardew Valley. And I really want to get crops in the ground. <laughs> Yes, we, we can definitely do at least one Stardew Valley gaming session. Um, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Excellent. In which case, guys, right. we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out, bye. everybody. You bet. This okay. was fun. Where's the end button? Okay. I still okay, didn't accomplish it.